project, we chose to do conjoined twins. And we started off with our critical thinking question, what are they, how are they created? And so this project is a research-based project looking into them. Right now we have a little game to start you off. Nick's passing out some tokens, and this is just going to help you see the odds and statistics of conjoined twins. Just to kind of brief you in on this, the odds of having a conjoined twin are 1 in 200,000, roughly. They're very rare, and as of right now, compared to other medical cases, we don't know overly much about them because the survival rate is so low. Everyone hold up their token, take a look at it. <laughs> Who has a red one? Daniel. So this is, when we did it with our class, we had 20 students, so we said each token was actually 10,000 tokens. If you got a red one, truly you got 19,999 green and one red. That's to show the odds, how little they are, of having a conjoined twin. So we have round two. <laughs> Some more passing out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Through green ship. Oh, oh, I did. Oh, yeah. This is, well, best for last. So, cranial pain. These twins are born with their skulls fused together. However, they still have separate bodies. These are roughly 6% of all the This is the most important of them all. This is to see who actually lives. Like, oh, oh, oh. like I said, conjoined twins are very rare, and the survival rate is even rare. So, hold up your chip if you have a red one. No. You will die. Yeah, 40 to 60% of all conjoined twins are born stillborn, which means they come out of the womb dead. So for this example, we chose roughly 50%, because it's known to be between 40 and 60. Who has a yellow? You still die, but after, <laughs> after one day, I died twice. a lot of these are due to complications from birth, and because they're so rare and they're so tricky to operate on, not much can be done. Who has the green one? As you can see, there's only a few. These are the ones that would actually survive. So it's a lot less. The survival rate is between 5 and 25 percent. Now, we may not know much about what causes conjoined twins in the environment, but we know that conjoined twins are much more likely in Latin America, in these third world style countries, than in North America. And development wise, what leads to a conjoined twin? When a mother has twins, the eggs split at around 12, 8 to 12 days, but with conjoined twins, they split much later at 13 to 15 days. From this, they don't split all the way, and they continue to develop a <coughs> conjoint until they eventually leave the womb. Another theory some scientists believe is that they completely separate and then somehow fuse back together. There's not as much evidence for this, though it is believed by some high-ranking scientists. So, like we said, we have some types of twins here, and then we have, you know, what happens to them after? Separation. We have Nick for that. So, um, some conjoined twins can be surgically separated, and it's more recent nowadays as we have more technology, but one of the first ones, actually, is uh, made by Raymond Kratz, and uh, his surgical team separated two conjoined twins that were connected at the hip, and there's also the first, first vital organ surgery separation as they share the liver and um, it's really hard to separate conjoined twins as it depends on what kind of conjoined twin they have and also the point of attachment and internal organ share. So yeah, like you said, if they're attached at the head, like that one type, it's going to be a lot trickier and often they can't do anything about that. Now when they share a vital organ, the risk goes way up. Like this one, they shared a liver, but they were still able to do it right. Some people may only have one heart and share a bloodstream, and for that, separation is impossible. Now, the first successful one was in 1957. Conjoined twins have been known from the 1100s, early, thousands of years ago. Now, for this to happen 60 years ago, separation hasn't been that successful for that long. 
So, we got some history here. So, throughout history, conjoined twins have appeared in myths and legends. Yeah. Uh, okay, where was that? <laughs> and the Greek and Roman god. Janus had two faces, one young and one old. Centaurs, a combination of horse and man, have been inspired by Paragabus twins, who often have four legs. The common heretic symbol, the double-headed eagle, is common throughout century Europe. One of the earliest documented cases of conjoined twins are Mary and Elysia Chalfris, also known as the Bidden Den Maids, born in the 1100s. The sisters lived for 34 years in Bidden, country of Kent, England. Mary and Elysia were joined at the hip and shoulders. After the death of one sister, doctors hoped to save the life of the other by separating them surgically, but the surviving twin refused, declaring, as we came together, we will go together. So she pretty much said, if my one twin, I don't want to be separated by her, so she just went with her. So She died within a day yeah. of when her sister died. And so like Josh read, the double-headed eagle is a popular symbol. If you look in the picture section, you'll see a couple of conjoined twins in an animal form. You'll have a goat with eight legs and a fish with two heads. This is just to show that these mutations are present in other species. So we also have some society of what they think of conjoined twins or other mutations. So in certain Indian Middle Eastern countries, defects such as conjoined twins are viewed as very special and sometimes even holy. So many different cultures and societies have different theories on to why twins would be made conjoined. These range from superstition to religion, so like God's anger, the devil's influence, or God's desire to show power, and the influence what a pregnant woman uh, we're all seeing as possible explanations. So, yeah. There's modern cases of this, too. There was a child born, and I'm pretty sure it was India, and he was actually born with a tail present on him. And unlike us, who would often vow to have it removed, he kept it because he was a celebrity in his village. He was praised as a god, because many people thought he could be a reincarnation or another form of a holy figure. And so there's much more than Siamese twins mutation-wise for humans. Here, Damien found some other ones. Through the years, there has been multiple different types of mutations. Conjoined twins are just one of them. One rare mutation is cyclopia. This is when a baby is born with just one eye. A cat is a picture a child born with cyclopia. This baby was born with one eye that has two pupils. The baby had no mouth nor nose, so it could not breathe, and later shortly died from suffocation. The baby is born in a rural part of Africa. Some doctors believe that it is due to indigestion, digesting certain toxins, whether it be man-made or from a plant. Other mutations include widely known treatment. This man did is from Bang, Bang, Java, Indonesia. He contracted the HPV virus. As a result, his body produced wart-like growths all over his body, especially on his hands and feet. These growths contain large amount of keratin, also found in hair and nails. The growth on his hands weighed 12 pounds and grew at a rate of so if you look in your pamphlets, you'll have a picture of the Cyclopia baby, and that's him right there. If you look close, you can see his two pupils and a lack of a mouth. From this, like you heard, he died of suffocation in less than a day. Now, interestingly, he also had both sets of genitalia, which could be due to a type of human type. They're very rare, and in most cases, like this one, they don't live past a day. There has been a case in India where the child lived up to a month, but he shortly he passed away shortly after. Here we have the tree man, and in grade nine you get the option for the vaccine against the HPV virus, and this man contracted it. And as you can see, he has these growths which contain protein found in your nails and hair, keratin, and they try to have them removed, but they grow at such a rapid rate. There's not much he can do. And so he truly struggles in day-to-day -day life. Because like you read, 12 pounds on your hands and feet. And I'm not sure, I can't see his fingers. You lose that functioning ability of your body.
So we have our answer to our critical thinking question here. So in the end, overall conjoined twins are an amazing mutation of nature. Through extremely rare, many scientists hope to learn more about them in the future and continually get smarter about this type of twin. It's so rare in our present world, and like we saw in the game, not many do make it past a day in surviving. So in the future, 